Who is the fastest man on earth? Is that Usain Bolt or Gatlin or even the Beast? I mean, how does that affect us? How does that contribute to us in our black communities, both in the Caribbean and also in the Americas and also in Canada and also, you say, in the Britain as well? Because we got black runners here that can deliver the goods as well, as much as how in Jamaica we can deliver it, I mean, back, left, right and center, you know, so... But how does that contribute and how does that impact us, like I said, on a positive? Can we look into Usain Bolt and see maybe the Jesse Owen of 1936 over there in, in Germany? Uh, can we see the same J Jesse Owen coming through the likes of Gatlin or Tyson Gay? We are now in a situation where, yes, we emotionally tied with the the Bolts and the Beasts and all of those top runners that we produce and also America as well. But are we like, you know, hoping that these guys can also become an icon in a sense where they can lobby for certain things? It does not have to be always political, but like social change. I mean, look at, for example, one of the things that affects us most is the lack of unity. I mean, very seldomly you see those big stars, black guys from different parts of the world when they, if they go to champion meets like this. And they might win coming first, second, third, even fourth. I mean, when last have you seen them come together and hug and hold each other and embrace the one blackness? I mean, very rare that happens. So can they also lobby against unity? Can also they lobby against peace? I mean, Jamaica is overrun right now by gun, gun violence. I mean, that is the number one thing right now that's killing off the youth. So can they themselves lobby against the gun? I mean, the same thing is, is impacting over in the state as well. So can the Gatlin, can the, the Tyson gay, can the can also, you know what I mean, the boat also stand up and lobby against the, the gun crime? Can the lobby also against education? I mean, look in Jamaica. I mean, from the moment you, you reach 10, 12, you have to start to pay for your education. So these things, which mean a lot of youths, you know what I mean, girls also will be able to go off to you know, a good high school or even have a chance at a good college because obviously the lack of funding maybe in their family or the lack of jobs are certain where, where you know, they'd have to send two or three of the kids, which maybe sometime in a household you might have eight, ten kids. You know what I mean? So half of the house would be able to go through schooling and, you know, many other half have to just like do whatever. You know, so can they lobby against those stuff, in, for example, in education? And how about against child abuse? I mean, look in Jamaica, a lot of kids right now have been sexually abused by people out there in their numbers. And, you know what I mean, can he lobby against these things? And also, like I said, go back to job creation. I mean, can they lobby against the, the lack of jobs which are in the community of blacks, the lack of opportunities that is even among us as well? So these are great things that, you know, I think that they could take a stand on. I mean, it won't cost them a two gold medal here and there. You know what I mean? But will they do it? I mean, will these guys become another Jesse Owen in a time where we need somebody to stand up? Because that day over in Olympics 1936, I mean, Hitler was on his way ready to showcase the Aryan race to be the superior race. But, you know, the big upset came from Jesse Owen when he, you know, put his name in the record history and stuff like that. So can these guys that we, you know, scream out the name, you know what I mean, we, we showcase them on our social media pages we talk about them we brag about them about their records and uh, the defeats and stuff like that but can they all unite together and let that block voice be heard i mean do they think that you know that that is also a matter you know at the international level i do believe that they can take a stand and these things whether it be political or the social issues you know so that's my take in it let us not just get betrayed by who is the fastest man and not see that these fast men and women also could become a voice for our dying community. So that's my take. Feel free to comment, share, like. And this is The Matrix Man, and I'm back with you. God bless you.